One of the takeaways we had from Indonesia is that if there were a system in place such that we could have responded more quickly after the earthquake, the care we gave would have had more direct impact on saving lives. When, when we landed on day 12 in Haiti, it still was just chaos. And our team of 40 medics that night spent the night on the tarmac, literally sleeping on the cement. And I would wake up and look over from the cement and see rats running through the garbage dumps just 20 yards away. I think logistically speaking, the most frustrating thing was getting on the ground and not having the equipment where we needed it, when we needed it. We had patients that were waiting to be helped and we couldn't help them. I'd say the one challenge we had is we didn't have all the pediatric style equipment that we needed for the humanitarian mission that we had there. So the changes we're looking to make with eMeds would be that we design the equipment packages that go with us uh, to more appropriately be sized for the children, the women, the elderly that we'd be seeing in a humanitarian operation. So while the go-to-war packs have been very useful, uh, those need to be modified so that when we arrive in a humanitarian assistance, we can provide immediately, without modification, care to the women and children, to the elderly. I feel like our mission to Haiti was incredibly important. We were able to stabilize their injuries and then ensure that they got the help they needed for follow-up care or find them a facility that could care for them or even find their homes. We could have done even more good had we been able to arrive more rapidly. As it was, we set up on day seven post-earthquake. Had we been able to arrive day two or three, we would have been able to provide more critical life-saving surgical support to the local health structure. With incidents like Chile and Haiti, we really want to help. We want to do it as quickly as possible to help out the folks there. And we do that by developing uh, quicker response forces, new tents, new equipment, new ways of doing things. Anderson. Colonel Devine. Major Kohler. Major Wolliver. Sergeant Young. I'm pleased the Air Force is working to get better and faster. The EMEDS HRT combined with the CRG is absolutely the right way to go. We ought to be on the ground within 12 to 24 hours and operational within four hours of getting off that airplane. And we can save more lives. <laughs>